Sinners don't do different things, they do things differently. And many times people ask, what do they do differently? One, folks, winners form the habit of doing things that losers don't like to do. And what are the things that losers don't like to do? They are the same things that winners don't like to do either, but they do it anyway. Losers don't like to get up in the morning. Winners don't like to get up in the morning either, but they get up anyway. Folks, losers don't like to work hard. Winners don't like to work hard either, but they work hard. Anyway, winners form the habit of doing things that losers don't like to do. Folks, someone asked, are positive thinkers fools? Don't they recognize we all have limitations in life? Folks, don't we all have limitations in life? Yes, no. Folks, the answer to that is winners are not fools. Winners recognize their limitations, but focus on their strength. Losers recognize their strength, but focus on their weaknesses. Folks, this one sentence is so powerful it can change anybody's life let me repeat winners recognize their weaknesses but focus on their strength and losers recognize their strength but focus on their limitations they learn to turn a weakness into a strength i'm going to share with you a prime example How can a person turn a weakness into a strength, folks? Our greatest weakness can become our greatest strength. There was a company that used to publish Bibles. They hired a salesperson and they gave him a very unproductive territory. And folks, within a very short time, in the most unproductive territory, this person became the top selling person of the company. They had an annual convention. Typically, they invite the best salesperson to the dais so he could share. When he came to the dais, folks, they found this person couldn't speak properly. He was a stammerer, a stutterer. Folks, I'm gonna mimic a little, but if anybody here is suffering from that kind of a disability, please take it constructively. I'm not making fun at all. I'm just making a point here. He came to the dais and they asked him, how come you are the best salesperson in the country? He said, uh, when I go door to door and I knock a door when the lady or the man used to open, I used to say, uh, uh, ma'am, ma ma you, you, you don't, don't have to buy, 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 buy these buy, buy Bibles at all. I can re read, read it for, 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 for free or you, you can buy, buy it, it's up to you. They said, don't read it, we will buy it. Don't read it, we will buy it. Can you imagine, folks? He turned a weakness in life into a, a strength. Our greatest weakness in life can become our greatest strength. I'll share with you, folks. I just have a the other day I was passing by and I picked up a newspaper clipping yeah in the newspaper this was about a year and a half ago in India it says karate kid KO's handicap of the roundhouse kick KO's his knocks out. Karate Kid KO's handicapped with a roundhouse kick. A 15-year-old boy, he has a polio kid. 
paralyzed waist down. He is representing the state in national martial art. Hello? A polio kid representing the state in national martial art. He's not fighting disabled. He's fighting people like you and me with two legs. And they asked him, how did you do it? He said, when I started, it was very painful. But he said, because of my polio, I am able to swing my leg 180 degrees and slap the person on the face, which people with two normal legs can't take a 180 degree swing. Hello. Look at this. Folks, he turned a weakness into a strength. Remember one thing, folks. People who have to do things in life, they do it in spite of problem, not in absence of. And people who don't have to do it, you give them everything in life, they will still never do it. There are many, many examples. How many of you heard? A group called MAD in the United States, Mothers Against Drunk Drivers. Anybody heard that group? Yeah, MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Drivers. There was a lady, she had a little girl, a drunk driver killed her. She got so angry that day. And you hear anger is a weakness. She got so angry that day. She said, I'm not going to let this kind of thing happen to another child or their parent. And she formed an organization called MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, and started a membership drive and went from one town to the other to the other. Today, I believe she's in over 21 countries, and she is changing the laws in the United States Congress. One woman got angry. Hello? One woman got angry, and look what she did. Folks, many times you hear people saying, I'm only one person, what can one person do? Folks, whenever history has been made, always one person did it, masses never did it. And go check, check all through history. Positive thinkers have always been in minority, but they have always been a one-man army. Always. It is well said. Masses never created history, always one person did it. If you want to be successful in life, just see what the masses are doing. Do the opposite, you'll be successful. Hello? Folks, going against the grain takes a lot of guts and conviction. Hello? Going against the grain takes a lot of guts and conviction. And that is what is called leadership.